Welcome to episode number 8 of the Minnesota Twins Mark Shot Tower Series continued in franchise. So, I mean, April 2nd, 2020. One A's, it's Jose Barrios versus Andrew Trids. He had another decision. I, he went five and a third, four straight outs, 1.69 ERA. I'm not sure what his fur always in check. Oh, 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 I was using lost it. Oh, I didn't see here. Well, they had the two days in. London, they lost both, or no, to Tokyo. I don't know what, I forgot. The winning pitcher out. There we go. So we started the four, year four and one, you saw open a day. I was two weekends at home and my grandma died. Um, was that last weekend? I said I knew it was two weekends ago. As, yeah, next episode of the series will be on Wish Show 20. And the next up, the 4th of July day in my Minnesota Twins custom franchise series. Well, that will be, um, obviously, you know, Wish Show 20 visits. Because you'll see open in 2019 for my Vinny J Road the Show series and my Audi Pong Road the Show series because I have to play a calendar year for I can port it in the Elm Way Show 20. I still can, I think the Elm Way Show 20. I just can't port those two characters over. But, I mean, I had sent four. I did half of them. So that's not bad. And you can see rank 20th, contact 11th, power 8th, pitch and set 22nd, defense 16th, and speed 30th. So, or rank 20th. And the only thing that's top 10 is power. Pitching's 20 seconds. I mean, not bad. I mean, not, I don't know why. Versus, I don't know what. Dipson should be a lot. You can see Tyler Duffy. He's a 78. He's a long relief pitcher, which I'm actually going to make a move. Because he has a 98. And Zat Latell are lowest guy in the bullpen. I mean, everyone's 75, 80 besides Zat Latell and Tyler Duffy. But Tyler Duffy's 78. This guy's 64. So I'm going to move him to long relief. And then obviously the automatically Duffy now a middle relief pitcher, and there's what you could have up to. I guess even if it's the when you call September call ups one two three seven eight ten pitchers, but we only have seven. We have there's two empty spots for there's we don't have three pitchers. Well, except ten pitchers. We have two long relief pitcher empty spots and one middle relief. Picture. So basically, we have three empty spots: two in the long relief role and one in the middle relief role. And yeah, Ramiro is. I mean, everyone's one and zero besides Gibson. <laughs> yeah. So here we go: Bur Jose Brios versus Andrew Tids. Here we go. And now Brios went eight innings on opening day. Uh, Andrew Tids. Well, I think he went five and a third, and he got no decision in one of the eight games. As this, and I'll just see the lineup. Okay, here we go. 210 Eastern. Play full day, both controllers. The Twins will be the gold controller, and the A's will be the blue controller. We're 4 and 1, first in the AL Central, and the A's are 4 and 4, fourth in the AL West. But I, they played eight games because they have the, well, they played three more games. They have the two games in Tokyo, and I guess. Well, we had the day off after our opening day was in Detroit. Maybe they had that as well. But, yeah. Here we go. There's Donaldson for the... Okay, I did not want home. I want... I've seen that. Road for the A. I don't know who that is. And home for the Twins. That's Donaldson for the Twins. Hard at field holds 38,800... Holds 38,800... Holds 38,885 open in 2010. Broadcast MLB Network on and clear skies.
The clear skies, partly cloudy, overcast, and that's how it's clear skies for all. Twins home opener. 93 overall, Jose Brios versus 79 overall, Andrew Ted. Luis Severino, 90 overall. His energy's almost full, but Rondo, 79 versus 93. And there's our lineup. As Polanco is at short, second base because we have Gonzalez at short. Well, Gonzalez is my first, second, third, short, or at least any, every position besides center field, catcher, and pitcher. And yeah, I know it. Yeah. Really down. Here we go. I we have two, we only did have two home runs first in the MLB and in, in, in our pitching only did have two home runs. The A's have done up nine twentieth. We have five home runs only twenty fourth, and the A's have said twentieth. We're first in average, sits in RBIs, thirteen in stolen bases. All right, we're thirtieth in strikeouts for pitching, but we're first in run in the other three and maybe second in the other one. I'll be, I end the play. I plan on to for the stands. We are here. In t at Target Field in downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota, it is the Oakland it is the Oakland A's versus the Minnesota Twins here at Target Field in downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota, or the Oakland, a Oakland A's versus the Minnesota Twins here at Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. I know we often I know we leave off in Minnesota. Welcome to our special uh, welcome to our special. Uh, uh, our, welcome to, uh, as you can see there, there's our uh, Twins last year's ranked in the AL and the MLB for earned average saves, lots on, and home runs allowed. It's Jose Burrios versus Andrew Tids here on the Twins Co opener. It's the Oakland A's versus the Minnesota Twins at t here at Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Cruz, there's Estadio. He's not playing this game. He's played one game so far through the first five games. This is the sixth game. Then closer to the first pitch, Les Wilson and the Les Wilson and the public announcer. Alex Mignac. Well, well, welcome back to our special opening day broadcast here on MLB Network. That's what they might the Avastors and said. Today it's not opening day, but it's the home opener for the Twins. And on the scoreboard, you saw opening day. So welcome back to our open special opening day broadcast here on MLB Network. There's the Sarn Embarrassons at A uh, uh, starting, and here's the A starting lineup. Marlon, Azuna, Matt Chapman, Chan, Ho Park, he used to be a twin, I think. Eric, Dames, Raymond, Domrins, John Hitz, Jerkin, Profar, Martin, Simmons, and whoever is the not number nine batter. Here's Jose Brio's 2020 stats. One start so far, it was on opening day in Detroit. 1 0, 1.13 ERA, 8 innings, 8 hits, 1 whip, no loss, no strikeout. Because usually the game, I play a full game, is that usually you never see walks unless they're intentional, and like you like never see strikeouts. Here's the Twins defense Eddie Rosario, Billy Hamilton, Matt Shepard in the outfield, CJ Crown, Jorge Polanco, Marwin Gonzalez, Josh Donaldson in the infield. And then Jason Castro behind the play, and obviously Jose Barrios on the mound. And here's, he's 7 for 30 so far in 2020, no home runs, no RBIs, and you also see his average home runs, and you also up there at the top see his uh, stats from last year. Uh, the number 9 batter for the, is uh, Josh Bedley, the catcher. Both catchers for both teams are bad in ninth. The wind is 12 miles an hour blowing in from, I think, center field or right field. Here we go. Here's Burrios. 
First pitch, ground ball to Polanco. Field the 61 speed throw the first. Got him. One down. And that will be, and it, they're changing one theme. It's a theme, the bid one, I think it's theme two. They're switching that, the scoreboard that's in the bottom right hand corner. Instead of, both of them, all three of them right now are up there, but now theme one will still be up there. Same one. And will be that one still will be, or theme one still up there. But theme two will be down here and it's all different scoreboard in the bottom right hand corner. And then it will be that or it'll be the same scoreboard up there as well. Umpire presentation's a little different. Instead of first set and third home and from first base for one B, center base two B, third base three B, and then home play H B, that actually goes home first, set and third. Home play H B, first base actually at first and then ever set in third. Here we go. One two count the Matt Chapman. And that was kinda I was inside, but he swung 53 degrees, clear skies, wind 12, mi 12 miles per hour blown in from right field. So it might be a hard time to, might be a hard time to, it might be hard to hit a ball, or it's on, it could be, and that hit the bad! Uh, well, it won't, it's a signal anyways, but it popped up about 10 feet in the air, or about, oh, not maybe not 10 feet, but 5 feet. And by the way, the 4th of July dinner in my Twins custom franchise is against the Cardinals, and it will be a how Gibson versus Di Dallas title. Okay, I don't know who this is. Doesn't look. Chang Ho Park. He's not former Twin. And the center glove foot throwing the fir first for two, and he beats it out. Runner at first two outs after uh, the and here Eric Thames sits for 21. No one runs two RBI so far in the in the. Early 2020 season, three one count, hitters count, and he fouls one back into the camera well, full count. Runners going, three two count, and it's a foul ball. R remains three and two. And again, it's three two, and it's a foul ball again into the camera well. That's a ground ball to bat the Burrios. Throw to first is in time. One hit by the A's, but he's turning at first base. Middle of one here, here on the home, here at Target Field in Minneapolis. Middle of one, it is A zero, Twin zero. And here's the Minnesota Twins starting lineup with the, and the Twins manager is Dave Roberts, Billy Hamilton, Jorge Polanco, Josh Donaldson, Nelson Cruz. Eddie Rosario, Marwin Gonzalez, Matt Kepler, CJ Crone, and Jason Castro. The last two guys I read right there are not on a team in real life. Here's Andrew Trid. One start so far, no record. 1.69 ERA, 5 and a third inning, 7 hits, 1.31 whip, no walks, and 4 strikeouts. So it's first start, so 5 and a third innings, no walks. They're no, in the second start, but he did the, no, did the denote decision in his first game. Here's Hamilton, 11 for 25. No one runs through RBI so far here in 2020 season. He had 38 stolen bases last year. Remember of the Twins. And then he, he was traded over midseason the Twins from yeah, the Royals. Throw to first! Hamilton beats it out. He has 96 speed. And that's the first hit for him, or actually the first hit of the game for the Twins. Here's Jorge Polanco, the second baseman. Here we go, 1-1 one, one count, and that is in there for strike two. I thought they would show the umpires. You can see that was right down the middle, but Polanco decided to take it. Here's Polanco, bullet, in the center field, base hit. Runner, 96 speed at center base, 69 speed at first base. So basically a hit hit. If the Twins are one up and leave because a lot of speed at center base. Two runners on, nobody out for Donaldson. 7 for 24 in the 2020 season. One home run and four RBIs. Here's 2 for 6 against this pitcher. Ground ball, the short shot, the center four to first. Double play. Runner at 32 outs now. And that is Hamilton, but Donaldson rounds in a tailor made 6 4 3 double play. As Donaldson, I mean, he came over via free agency in real life and in this franchise. And it's going to be up to Cruz 
Uh, driving. Ah, that's it! Right field! Trail over in the right fielder! Buddy Mace, the Jets, like the gazelle. Two hits in the end, one and one le uh, runner left for the Twins. End of one, it is 8 0, twin zero. Here we go, we're back. Here's Rano, Rano, 8 for 23, one home run, six RBI so far in the 2020 season. There's the one on count. And that's a pop up. Coming in is Kepler. And he makes the catch. One down. And now it's John Hitz. 10 for 27. One home run, four RBI so far in the 2020 season. We're saying that a lot. Here we go. One on town. And that hits the inside corner. One and two. I got the inside corner, I got the call from the umpire. And that's a ground ball to Polanco at center base. Throw to first is in time. They, had, they lost scope like they didn't realize. And realize Crone and Scope signed with the Titers. I don't know where Scope signed in this uh, franchise. And they still have Crone. And we also lost to know. That's the uh, difference. Two on count. That's a foul ball. That would have been ball three unless the umpire called that a strike, which. I wasn't even touching the zone. To do count. And that's a ground ball. Cut off by Hamilton. Or Mark Gonzalez. Throw to first. It's in time. What a play by Gonzalez. In the, up the middle. Middle of two. It is 0-0. Zero, zero. And here's Eddie Rosario. 8 for 22. No home runs. 5 RBIs so far in the 2020 season. Looking for his first lawn ball. And oh, that could be. Oh, that's gonna die. Not even the warning thread, and it's caught by the center fielder. One down. He left that up, but Rosario just got under that. He left that slider up, but he just got under it. And now there's Gonzalez, six for 21, two home runs, seven RBIs so far here in the yeah, 2020 season. And as a ground ball to the sh third baseman, Matt Chapman, throw to first, got him, two down. Here's Matt Schuffler, 9 for 23, no, one home run, 6 RBI so far in the 2020 season. I believe he went like 5 for 5 yesterday, and that's a bullet caught by Chapman at third base. 1, 2, 3 to the Twins, and the 2 here on, here on MLB Network, the score is a 0 twin zero. We're back, the real announcers, Matt Rasturgeon, Mark DeRosa, and Dan Plesak. Here, Vinny J in Studio 42, a.k.a. the Man Cave. 1-1 one, one count. Two, I don't know who this is. That's, that's a ground ball to Polanco at second base. Throw it a crown at first base. And he And one out. One down. Now it's, he's 1 for 22. No one runs no RBI so far in the 2020 season. He's really struggling here in the start of the season. He's 1 for 20, he only has one hit. Through. I believe he's played like every game. Bad at 0-45. One for 22 in the season. That is a bullet, and he's two for 23 in the season. The second head of the year, and the Athletics ninth game. And when I went to a game in real life, we they played the A's. Yeah. There was game three of that series on that Saturday. That's a ground ball to Gonzalez. Throw to first is in time. As Apparently, I forgot there was, Gonzalez forgot there was only one out, so no double play. And here comes Chapman, and he, a single, a ball to the outfield to score a run. And that is a foul ball, thankfully. Or well, that would have, would have been a run if it was fair. Or if it was, if it got past Crone. That's one, two, count to Chapman, and fly ball to the right field, caught by Tepler. One hit in the inning. And one hit by, uh, by the A's and one runner left by the A's as well. Middle of three, it is zero zero. Eight nine one two up for the Twins in the bottom of the third. Is He's over three against this pitcher and make that over four. As takes it to the down, one down, throw that three unassisted. One down. And now it is Castro two for sixteen so far in the year. No one runs, no RBIs. 
So really, and that's said Ronald Ball made that two for seventeen on the air unless something crazy happened. Throw to first, got him by a step. So good hustle by Castro, but it's for, for not two down. Here's Hamilton. Both teams have two hits. He has one of them. He let off the the bomb the first with the hit. And that's a ground ball pass. Matt Chapman at third base, and that's Hamilton's second hit of the game. And a ball in the depth could storm because he has 96 speed. And here's Ori Palancho. I mean, the first two batters for the Twins got hit, and then I think they drowned in the double play. That is a bullet base hit. Base hit, and because it went to left field, Hamilton has to hold at second base. Two runners on, two outs. Four hits for the Twins. All four hits have been by the uh, Hamilton, Billy Hamilton, and Hardy Polanco. Here's Donaldson, who I, yeah, drowned in double play in first. Yeah, two runners on, nobody out. Donaldson crushes one! Deep left field! Into the second deck! Home run! Josh Donaldson is second home run of the year! Three nothing twins! Josh Donaldson! With a solo home or three run home run straight away left field and it's three nothing twins. Hit that ball that was inside I believe on like the inside corner. I believe that was a, about I think a slider on the inside corner turned around on it and demolished that ball four hundred and nineteen feet. It's at a desk. Is that in the third deck? Third deck actually. I didn't see it. I knew it was a set and or higher. Actually, it hit the stairwell in the third deck. A third deck shot by Donaldson. I bl And now here's Cruz. It's Homer, 419th feet. I should have guessed. But Donaldson unloaded, I think, on the slider on the inside corner. I'm not sure if it was slider or not. Unloaded. Hit the stairwell. Actually came back and okay, so the ball actually hit the stairwell in the third deck, just to the left of the last tunnel. So I mean, and then it came all the way back, went past the foul pole, and landed in the seats down at third base line. Not sure where it ended up. And then, so it went, hit the stairs in the third, on the third. Stepping in now, Nelson Cruz. Cruz, round ball to Simeon. Throw to first is in time. Three outs. But thanks to the three run homer by Josh Donaldson. And the three, it is three nothing twins. And here's Chano Park, the left fielder for the A's, trying to hit on base because they're down 3 0 to begin the fourth. That's a looper! And it is! On a fall in front of Kepler for a base hit. And the time runs coming on deck as Chano Park, the left fielder, gets on leadoff single. And here comes Eric Thames. That is a off the mound! The center for one and sits on the back, throw to first! A 6 3 double play! Two down. And here's the center fielder. One, two count. That's a fly ball to Kepler, and he makes the catch. Went by the A's, but it, but he's a race on a double play. Middle of three, it is three, and I've been twin. I said. Five six seven do up for the twins in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Rosario. Rosario ground ball past the diamond third baseman and the Simeon cheater jumped her up in the hole and Rosario beats it out. And the score decision is a the base hit. They went past the diamond Matt Chapman at third, fielded by uh, Simeon in 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 the outfield cheater jump throw and. And uh, Rosario beat it out by a, at least a step. Probably like a step and a half. And that is a diamond star! Simeon! 
the center point as he oh, actually he steps on the bat for one, throw to first, and Thomas beats it out. But what a play by, actually, that's not Simeon, that's Profar, never mind. Then Simeon's at second base. Wait. That was, it had to be Simeon. Profar's at second base. There's no shift going on, right? Yeah, it was a normal lineup. Yeah, that was Simeon, just that Profar was saying one down. That is a another play! And scores the decision and the base hit as he, a two straight diamond plays by Simeon. But now here's Crone, a number eight batter with two runners on one out. Crone hits run in right field. And it is caught. And the run, run and the runner first goes bad and the runner second stays put. Runner the first set in two outs now for Castro. He's been at 118 on the year. That is a ground ball to Simeon. Not diving the sun. Throw to first. Got him by a step again. Maybe less than a step, but either way, he's out. Uh, the Twins turn two runners at first and second base. Or the Twins turn two runners at the forward. It's three up in Twins. We're back to uh, Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Let's go on. Let's go on the field to let them uh, catch up to them. Let's, let's go on to Hainiwani. Thank you, Heidi. I took copy Mavis Sturgeon. <laughs> because we both said thank you, Heidi. And it's a fly ball. Right field. In foul territory. And like it is no chance by Kepler. About three feet away. About three feet away from the sidewall. One down. And here's Profar. Over one of the ground out in the second end. Oh, he's sitting at batting in the fifth. And it's a foul ball. One and two. That is a looper, and that's in a fall for a base hit. And Profar's gonna stay where he is, and a little jam shot for a single for Profar. Two one count, and that is in there straight two. That's not gonna show the umpires, but they have him in the game lot at the bottom. That's about, if you wait too long, they're not gonna show him. And I try, and usually if you throw a straight in the first set and in. Or not even a strike. Okay, the home plate umpire is Matthew Ross. So it's a crew at, at Dave Lawrence. I thought I saw Dave Lawrence. Home plate umpire Matthew Ross. First base umpire Dave Lawrence. Center base umpire Ricky Holiday. And third base umpire Dale Parker. And, and they might have actually, nobody show 16 to have like commentary lines of the umpires. I think Matthew Ross is one that. I don't know. I'm trying not to look looks from pitchers and hitters, but. And it's a sold out crowd. Why not? I mean, it's a, it's a home opener for the Twins, but yeah. Yeah, so I think. Yeah. That's really it. So I think it's one. I think he. I mean. If you look, I mean, he hasn't really extended, but and then he's one that maybe send, sends the corners uh, east. He has a wider zone east and west, or he has a higher zone north and south. I'm not sure. Two and two. And the ground ball to set it for one to first. A Taylor made four, six, three, double play. Middle of five as CC Bears in into it with the fans. On the first base dugout, middle of five, it is three enough and twins. Actually, his name's TC, not TC Bear. Or bat, the twin mascot is TC, not TC Bear. Two one count, here's Hamilton. That's a ground ball, he got a hurry for Pope. Profar, throw to first. And he throws, Mitch, and the throw tears the first base off the bat. And Simeon made two diving stops earlier. On a routine play, it pulls the first baseman off the bat. 
He sits, and there's a runner first, nobody out. Here's Polanco, and he throws it the first, so it won't be an error, but he should have thrown the second. And now there's Donaldson coming up, and that, that was the slider on the outside corner. That's a looper. He's done it. Hamilton going the third. Throw the first is in time. Two down, but runner at third, two outs now. And here's Cruz. And foul tip into the glove, straight two. Here's, oh, and that's on a foul! Base hit for Cruz! RBI single for Nelson Cruz! Four nothing twins! And here's Rosario. One, two counts. Four and up and twins. Rosario! And it's a stop by Simeon. He threw the first gun and won a play for Marcus Simeon. Middle and the five. St and, or, and, thanks to Nelson Cruz's RBI single, it is four and up and twins after five innings of play. Uh, A's have no runs on four hits, one error, and the Twins have four runs and A's hits, no errors. So, Twins have four, no, no more hits than the A's. And here is a uh, fly ball the right field, and it's caught by Kepler. One down. And by the Twins, Matt Scott is TC. I, I, think I, I think I did say TC Bear. On count. And that's a fly ball. Coming is Billy Hamilton. And he meets the catch. Two down. Here's Matt Chandler. One for two with a send on in the first inning. That is a ground ball to Crown. Taking himself. Scored at three assisted. And then it's over. And there's TC. Didn't. The fans into on the third base side out now, I believe. That's the third base side out. Middle of six is four and in twins. And yeah, I think TC. That stands for Twin Cities. TC was in on the first base side out after. And here's a fly ball. Left field. Joe Mendes left field. Thames. And he, or not Thames, but Park makes the catch. One down. And here's Kepler, the right fielder. As the energy for the A starter is in the yellow as they have a 78 overall middle relief pitcher, a righty, warming up in the um, A's bullpen left center field, just in front of the Twins bullpen, both in the same spot. That's a ground ball fielded by Chapman. Throw to first is in time, two down. And there's CJ Crown, number eight batter. Crown, ground ball to the center baseman, Profar. Throw to first, low throw, but it's picked by the A's first baseman. One, two, three, the other twins, but they are up. Four nothing after six innings of play. Welcome back to the Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Let's put it, and here's the game summary. Score by Annan. Total runs row teams, total hits row teams, and total errors. As you can see, Twins have four runs and eight hits, no errors, and the A's have no runs, four hits, and one error. And here's the ground ball, fielded by Polanco. Throw to first is got it by a half a step or two to, or one down. And by the way, TC, the Twins mascot, says the Twin Cities was on the first base dead out ap uh, ap after the A's were on the top of the fourth. And it was on the third base that out. Or he, I don't know. He was on one one dugout out after the A's were on the top of the fourth, and was on the other dugout. out. I think I think he was on. You would think he would be on the twin. That's a lot. That's a lot of. That's three. Well, that's only that's three in this. Well, that's. Differ. For some reason, there's real life there's actually a date between, like right there, but here is not. I mean, there's one down on like the club level, and there's two up in the normal seats. My grandma and grandpa have season tickets. I think it's their work, or at least 
Well, my dad, grandpa's retired, but she still comes in sometimes to the lawyer, you know. L lawyer. There, I think they they see it. I mean, I went to a day and viewed it on a Vinny J channel. I think that it's in that section or that section. I think because it's down the first base line. And I remember, I think it's. I'm gonna say. And I remember looking up and seeing that. I think it's that section right there. Or actually, I'll. Um, I think it's that section like up there, and it's up there. Here's Brunos. No one up in the twin bullpen. He threw it, sits in a third. He went, and that is crushed. That will not be caught. And is that gone? It is gone. Home run, Eric Thames. And that breaks the shutout. His first home run of the year. Two right center field wins four one twins. Home Aaron Thames, a solo homer to right center field, and that hits the A's on the board and cuts the lead, cuts the twins lead to three at four to one. And here's show track. Uh four twenty. Edge of one ten. Launch angle almost thirty twenty nine degrees. Same time, six, point, six seconds, 413 feet, I was seven feet off. I haven't seen Chuck Track in a while. It was only 413, though. Here we go, there's Lorano. It's round ball to Ponto. Throw to first is, oh, oh my word, a home run, and now an error, and the timer's coming on dead, an E4 on Polanto, and here's John Hitz. And, I mean, a home run by Aaron Thames, and now an E4. And that's it. Right field. Don't manage Kepler, and he makes the catch. Two down. But another base runner will bring the time run to the plate. And it's here's Profar. 32 count. That's it. And that's too close to Tate. Because that was touching the zone, but it was more than halfway out of the zone. We never know. But the sun fire, they're not taller enough. That's a little... Dribbler in front of the mound, fielded by Burrios, two to first and in time. But they still a solo homer to right center field by Eric Thames has cut the Twins lead the three at four to one as we're at the seventh inning stretch here at Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Here we go, and here's Jason Castro, nine one two, do up for the Twins in the bottom of the seventh. As they're not a brand, a righty. As the starter won six innings, four, and run, four earned runs. And right now he's in line for the loss. The best he can do is another decision if the A's come back and tie the game. And if they lose, as long as they come back. And that is caught by the center fielder. One down, but the A's are down to their final six outs. They're only down by three runs. And here's Billy Hamilton. Two or three, two singles and two runs. It's, I mean, Castro, I mean, he's over three and he's been struggling. I believe after the played like three days. Here is Hamilton deep in the hole, or Simeon deep in the hole, or up the middle, really. And because Hamilton has 96 speed, he's going to beat that out. Second infield tunnel of the game. The lead off the bottom of the first, he had one. Now, one on the bottom seventh, he has one. Here's Polanco, center field, not even inch the warning track. And the center fielder makes the catch. Two now. On our first two outs now, and here comes, I believe. Josh Donaldson, who got the three run homer earlier, who's driven in 75% of the Twins' runs. Here's Donaldson, round ball to Simeon. Spins around, throws the first, and did also by Donaldson, but he, he's out. Down about, he was out by a step. And the seven here in uh, Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. The score is Twins four, and the A's one. We're back to Simeon, over to two ground now. It says, no. And Brios, I mean, he had eight in an opening day. Now he's gone seven here on the home opener. And Billy Hamilton catches it about knee level. I think one down. And here's the catcher who's been in OE3. He's one for two in the game. And I believe he's about like two. I think he's like two for 25 on the year. And. I mean, it's a save situation, and Aston Reed, I believe, he has two saves on the year or something. One save. I mean, he has no ERA, no averages left-handed batters or right-handed batters, and no record.
And they're warming up. Blake Parker, setup man. And Anakin Reed, their closer. Two righties warming up in the twin bullpen. Behind the A's bullpen in left center field. One one count. And that's a fly ball. Center field. And it is caught by Hamilton. First out was a LA. And now sending out to the FA. Two down. And now here's Ozuna. And Brios' energy is in the yellow. And it's a ground ball. One off to Polanco. Throw to first is in time. One, two, three of the A's. Middle of A. It is four, one, twin. It is four to one, twins. There's Nelson Cruz. Four, five, do up for the twins. Four, five, six, do up for the twins in the bottom of the A's. And it drove in the fourth run for the twins. Here's Cruz. Ground ball to the center base and pro far. Spins around, throws it. And it is time. It is in time. One down. And here's Cruz, or I mean Rosario, one for through the single. Rosario drives one, but it is all oh, over the head of the center fielder. Pits it up. He is going for three, and he is. I, I must have to hit the X button, the home button, and. Rosario's in there with a one-out triple, his first triple of the year. Runner at third, one out. And they're going to bring in Blake Parker if it's not a situ safe situation. And they're going to bring in Mike Moore if it is. Or if it's not a safe situation, they might keep Rios out there. As there's no one from the A's bullpen. And they have Mike, Blake Parker and Anderson Reed ready and waiting in the Twins bullpen in left center field be right behind the A's bullpen. Here's Gonzalez. Infield in, and that's two. Shell, throw to first is in time. Runner at third, two outs now, as it will be up to the number, I believe. I don't know. And it will be up to Matt Kepler. They're driving the run. They're still up by three, though. And Swinner has strike two on a pitch that was a ball. And now, here we go. One, two pitch to Kepler. Kepler, ground ball, caught up by Simeon, throw to first, got him. Yeah, but the A's need three runs a time, four to take the lead on top of the nine. And the bay, it is four to one twins. Two, three, four, do up for the A's in the top of the nine. And they're going to bring in Addison Reed for the, tw for the save. This season, one day, one appearance, one save, no e uh, ERA, one in, no strikeouts, no average versus left-handed batters or right-handed batters. As Burrios, right now, he's li in line for a second win and both starts will open in the end Detroit and now eight innings, not the win. And he did have one, one run, I think, and here he did have one run as well. Or I mean, he might, he did have two runs. Here's Chapman, fly ball to right field, and Kepler makes the catch, one down. And here's Park, trying to down base to keep the line moving, and that is a liner! Like it does, he'll catch by Kepler in right field, so uh, F9 now on L9, it's going to be a uh, to air it then, just a solo homer in the seventh. Trying to keep the game alive, shift on! And the ground ball, and the shift, fielded by Gonzalez, throw to first, it's in time, and the Minnesota Twins win it! The tw Minnesota Twins win it! 4-1 over the Oakland A's. And uh, as they win the home opener, 4-1 over the Oakland A's. And it was really powered by Donaldson's three-run home run. Jose Barrios, two straight... One on opening day, eight innings, gave up two runs. The home opener, he gave up, eight, or really on opening day, eight innings. Eight innings. Eight innings. Two, two runs. Got the win on opening day. Flair the day. John Donaldson, one for four, the a uh, three-run home run. Brios went eight innings. They don't have to use two relievers. Well, the A's only had to use two relievers. Their starter went six innings, and their reliever went two, and their reliever went two innings. No bomb of the nine. They won four-one. Really, I mean, the Twins 
got three in the third, one in the fifth, and the A's got one in the seventh, but really, kind of look, I mean, it was only 4-1, it's really powered by a Donaldson three-run home run, and then, and then, uh, Ham and then Cruz dro dro drove in a run in the bottom of the fifth on a little jam shot at the right field. And there it stands at the solo homer, drove in the only run for the A's. I mean, you can see on notable players, four players on there had four out of the five hits for the A's. And you can see on that notable hits for the Twins, well, they had ten hits, and the players on there combined for seven hits, so seven out of the ten hits for the Twins. A's got one run on five hits, one error, and the Twins got four runs on ten hits, one error. So both teams come in in the air in this game. But, I mean, both teams only had used two relievers, and... Brees went eight innings, five hits, no strikeouts, one earned run, no walks. Addison Ray finished the business, one inning pitch, no hits, no strikeouts, no earned runs. So he still has no ERA and no averages, le left handed batters or right handed batters. Two, two innings, two, two appearances, two innings, two saves. Andrew Ted, six innings, eight hits, no strikeouts, four earned runs, no walks. So. And the bullpen only gave up two hits or two innings, but and no runs. I mean, the opener they Bruce went eight innings, two runs, got the win. Here on the home opener, he went eight innings, one run. So totally, he has pitched 16 innings, only thir three earned runs. Okay, I was having and by the way, tomorrow first episode, first video of Only Show 20 should be episode one of the postseason series. Should be the Rays and the Rangers. I'll, I'll do a tournament before that tournament is the home team. I set up the bracket, and then the second one should it will be the Twins and Yankees. Should that video should be posted Wednesday probably, and the second episode tomorrow or video tomorrow will be episode one of my new Road to Show series, whatever it is. I don't know what's gonna be yet, and then probably Wednesday will be Twins and Yankees in my postseason series, and then um, probably episode one of my New Testament uh, franchise, which will be the Snakes. They will be in Diamond Dynasty and and. And it will probably replace the Rays because I'm seeing now two people replace the Rays. And I kind of want the roster. Charlie Morton, Blake Snell, and the whole thing will be Metronome. So I'm giving you a lot of hints. but this, And the uniforms will probably be like they were in Diamond Dynasty for the last, like, three years. I mean, my own game, my fourth MLB video game. Got in 17. I started filming 17. So this is only my fourth video game I'll get and film, so... I cited, but you'll see Open Day 2019 by Vinny J and Ari Pomer wrote the show series. So this is not the last MLB Show 19 video. And I might still play on my show 19, like Diamond Dynasty, because I got some diamonds, but I'm not turning in tomorrow, because I still have to finish Vinny J. Still have, I still have about a month left. Plus, I have to open day for the next season, and my Ari Pomer and Vinny J wrote the show series. I am turning in until 19, but not MLB Show 19. Usually I do, but. Now I know I have to complete a calendar years. So I don't want to lose Vinny J and Audi Pullman. But Vinny J, I mean, I started in 17. Audi Pullman, I started in 18. So, okay, so I'm going to close the No Board of Jets episode. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you have any. Tell, tell your mom, dad, tell your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, pets, and friends about these videos. And you know what? I'm going to see you in episode number 9 of the Minnesota Twins March Shots Over Series Continued in Franchise. See you. I know. Oh, dad, time we're closing. No board of Jets episode with the like button. Subscribe, subscribe if you haven't yet. To, or, or, dad, oh, time we're closing. No board of Jets episode with the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Tell your mom, dad, grand, grandpa, pets, and friends about these videos. And you know what? I'm going to see you. Episode number nine of this Minnesota Twins March Shot Over series continued in franchise. Uh, see you in episode number nine and eat a lot of bacon. And, uh, yeah, and eat a lot of bacon.